Yo, so today, as I said in the last video, I'm here finishing up this job. This is a subframe that I've built for this rear wheel drive S2000 powered Vauxhall Corsa rallycross car. It's Alan Tapscott's car. Um, I have put this on the channel before. I'm not sure if the video is still up there, but I will check and I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, I'm just here to finish up the last couple of jobs so that it's uh, all done and I don't have to come back, do any more to it. So I've got a couple of bars that I'm putting in here just to add some strength because they put the car on the floor with this um, diff cross member removed and it actually um, opened up the subframe. They had to bend it back. So we're putting in a little bit extra structure I wasn't here when they made these, I would have probably come to the middle. So this is basically S2000, but the upper arms are longer than a normal S2000 so that uh, it reduces the amount of camber gain throughout travel because there's a lot more travel. And then at the bottom, this is the same layout as my MX-5. So we've got bump steer adjustability, and then we've got the uh, the option here to change the anti-squat geometry and the roll center geometry which I haven't done on my car um, what else so it's basically using S2000 hubs my own design lower arm setup longer upper arms S2000 diff S2000 prop and gearbox and it's got about 400 horsepower S2000 engine, which is running a Rotrek supercharger. The engine isn't in at the moment because it's out for a refresh. As I said, there's a lot more information on the channel if you, if you dig into it. I'm just uh, finishing up these control arms. These are the tow control. These go on the front here. On the front up here and what I'll do is I'll insert I've got some photographs of it on the floor and I've got some photographs of it all assembled I'm also I'll add them in but I'm also uh, putting in these bits here for the crash bar they got holes drilled into them so that they collapse if they need to and uh, yeah that's generally the general idea and hopefully we'll get I'll do another video later on down the road after we've got through this lockdown period showing the setup all the bump steer measurement and setup and um, testing we'll probably try and do a launch inside the workshop initially but yeah that's it for the uh, for the minute and uh, I'll come back and add a bit more to this video shortly. So I've got this subframe out um, just so I can finish up some of this welding. Got to get in round there still. Got a little bit there, the big old gap to fill because someone pre-prepared these tubes for me and they used a notcher. Unfortunately, notches go a bit oversized. But yeah, it's nearly there. Also, this has upset me where they wound MIG into it, but it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. And then, if we go around here, these are all the jigs. For some reason, my camera's out of focus. It must be dirt on the lens or something, but... These are the jigs that I made. There's a upper arm jig. And then this is like the whole subframe jig kind of splits apart and hinges so you can get it all apart. And as I said, this section at the bottom here is jigged off of my rear wheel drive micro. But that's basically the gist of it. So um, I literally got these last couple of welds to do. And then that's that's the subframe complete. And um, I will add in some pictures 
of the car like on the floor and stuff so you can see it all 